Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for some more Forza Horizon 3. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the Liberty Walk Widebody Kit that's available for the 2015 Dodge Challenger Hellcat and I'm also going to share with you all the stats of the car because when you put this body kit on it also comes with a preset tune and we're going to be talking about the preset tune, what I think about it and the first thing that I want to say is can anyone tell me what's wrong on this screen right now? Just tell me what you see that is completely incorrect on this screen. Something doesn't line up and if you can tell me whoever it is I will shout you out on my next video but the thing is this wide body kit looks absolutely gorgeous this thing looks so good and it looks like an absolute beast and I actually really like the way this thing drives but the thing is why did they put it at S1870 why couldn't they just do what they usually do and put it at the top of the class S1900 and that would have been perfect but in terms of racing this car it actually feels so good to drive like I said but it's not the best for racing and you're gonna see exactly why but just look at how good this car looks I mean I love what they did with this thing the spoiler that they made with the body kit and the wider fenders it just looks perfect with this car because this car already has a pretty aggressive look and that just makes it look even more aggressive and it just looks so nice the only thing I changed that I did not like was the wheels that they put on it I put the stock wheels back on and the stock wheels were actually lighter so they look better and they're lighter in my opinion that's a perfect thing to do but in terms of driving this car as you saw there the launch is not all that great I mean the car stock wasn't that great either and the second gear is very short and I kind of don't like that because first gear you get a lot of wheel spin and then second gear is super short so really slow off the line but after that as you can see the grip and handling characteristics are absolutely amazing I mean for a big bulky 4,000 plus pound muscle car this thing is so agile and that's pretty much because the upgrades that they did were all based on handling they didn't add any power or do anything like that which I might honestly just get it to the top of the S1 class because then that way we can reduce weight or add power or something and it'll still be in the S1 class so this thing I think has a lot of potential with this body kit preset and the grip is already so good the braking's okay I mean it's very heavy so the braking is not going to be that great just because the car weighs that much. I mean, almost 4,500 pounds. This thing is a tank, but that also leads me to another problem. What are you seeing here? What's the issue with this car? And basically the acceleration and it's struggling to get to that top speed and I can never catch this guy that's in first place. I actually finished this race in second place. Can you believe that? I just could not catch this guy and I ran the race almost perfectly and I was very surprised because the top speed is over 200 but I just never could get there the acceleration's too slow with how heavy the car is and also because all the upgrades were only catered towards handling but this is a perfect cruise car I absolutely love it it feels so smooth and it looks and also sounds amazing so let me know what you think of this body kit preset tune that's available for the Challenger Hellcat but as always thank you very much for watching have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to y'all again very soon Peace out.